Okay, this is a demonstration of Dalton's Law. And what I'm using here today is a board-on pressure gauge. Nothing more than basically copper tubing. If you pull down on one of these gauges and look carefully, you can see the copper thin tubing on the, on the inside. And when the pressure increases, that copper tubing that's coiled straightens up and they measured how much difference between this pressure and this pressure as the tubing straightens up kind of like that kid um, party favor you blow out okay it blows out so how much it straightens they figure it out and calibrated um, how much pressure that would represent of course now um, I'm not calibrating this so I'm susceptible to error because of that but on top of this uh, one liter Erlenmeyer flask and I've measured the volume of this Erlenmeyer flask to the um, top here, to where the cork is. It's one liter by its marking, but it's actually 1,250 milliliters. So I actually uh, fill it with water to this mark here, dumped it out, and measured that to be approximately 1,250 milliliters. Now, on top of this Erlenmeyer flask, I have the Bordon tube affixed to a two-hole stopper, and I also have a um, querying tubing that's connected to a um, syringe, large, large syringe, and I also have a valve here, okay, that can shut the pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some air to this. I'm going to watch the pressure increase, and just to make sure that we're on the same page, I'm going to take the top off here and expose the atmosphere, or expose the, um, and I've done this before, I'm just making sure you see this, I'm exposing the air, okay, the syringe and the flask to the same pressure so we're at equilibrium with the atmospheric pressure. Okay, now I'll pull this back, turn this back this way, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this uh, flask, or it's already filled with air, because it's taking the space of the container, but I'm going to add 125 milliliters of volume of atmospheric air to that container. The reason why I chose 125 uh, milliliters because that is approximately 10% of the volume in this flask. Okay, so if I'm adding volume of air that's equal to the same same temperature and pressure um, exposed to the same temperature and pressure in this flask as it is in this um, syringe because we opened it up, I'm adding a tenth of the volume and we learned that a volume fraction is proportionate to a mole fraction, which is proportionate to a pressure fraction. That is essentially Dalton's law. So I'm guessing by pulling, pushing down on 125 milliliters of air, a tenth of this volume, I should be increasing this one atmospheric pressure container by a tenth, by adding a tenth more molecules. Now this is millimeters in mercury, so that's kind of nice. So if this is 125 milliliters at one atmosphere, and this is 125 that I'm adding, I'm adding a tenth of the volume. So my pressure should increase by a tenth. And a tenth of 760 torr, which is atmospheric pressure, and I'm guessing it is here today, and I'm also, um, that's another limitation of my experiment. I, I'm not using exact what it's reading today. Also, I'm pushing more than 125 because my tubing has air in it. So it's another limitation of my experiment. But I'm guessing I should be pushing out 76 millimeters of mercury because 76 is a tenth of 760, right? Volume, moles, and pressure are all proportionate. So let's do it and see if it's a tenth. Again, I should get 76. Now, I should get more than that because the volume in this tubing is even greater than the, than the 125 it's marked for. So I expect greater than that. But if this was exactly one, um, exactly 125 milliliters and it was one atmosphere of pressure and this gauge is um, marked correctly, I should get that. So let's Without further frost, let's push back on it. So I'm going to push back on the syringe, and we watch the pressure go up. I'm going to uh, close the valve here and let go. And now we can read uh, the pressure. We should have gotten 76 or close to 80, and we're a little under 100. I'm reading about 90. Okay, so I'm supposed to get 76, I'm getting 90, and I think part of that has to do with the, the volume in this tube. 
I should fill this with water and calculate that. So I'm above 76 is what I expect to, okay, to have. In any case, I have that sealed. Now I'm going to detach. All right. And I'm going to pull back on some more atmospheric air and I'm going to add another 125 milliliters. About right there. And again, we're also dependent upon how accurate these readings are as well. Okay, so in any case, reattach my syringe, open up the valve, and now I'm going to pull back. Now, the reason why you saw the pressure drop is because as soon as I opened it up, my pressure is pushing back. So I'm going to push this back to 125, and now I should be back to where I was approximately. And I push forward, and I'm, it's getting harder to do. And you can see my pressure is jumping up. I'm going to seal this, close it out. And I'm about 170, it's like 170 from my angle, tough to read, but about 170 uh, millimeters of mercury. And again, we're measuring the extra pressure above atmosphere. So if you think with me for a second, the pressure in this flask is now, if that was 760, 860, and now we're adding 60 more. Okay, so 920 millimeters of mercury. And you notice I doubled the what? The volume of gas entering, I doubled the extra pressure. Volume is proportionate to moles to pressure in Dalton's Law because the gases are under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Now, we're getting 160. That gives me about 80 or 90 a piece. Again, there's some error here. I'm sure I'm losing some molecules, okay, because of my seals aren't important, uh, okay, but we're getting something uh, pretty darn close to what we expect. Interesting enough, if I was to open, okay, this pressure gauge up, okay, the pressure, because it's greater than one atmosphere of pressure, and I don't dare any more at the top of my uh, flask is gonna pop up, so when I open this gauge up, watch the end of the syringe. Okay, because it's greater than atmospheric pressure, it's pushing back now once I open that up, and it should pop it right out. Okay, nice application of Dalton's Law.